Well, today it's been two weeks since we got our cow and she needed to get used to her new home and uh, she had just been weaned recently so she was missing her home and whenever you get a new animal on the farm it's best to leave them locked up for a while or else they'll try to go home and she did that on the second day she was here I think uh, she got out pushed through the side pushed through the gate and I had to track her almost a mile and a half through the woods across the fields to a neighbor's house where she went since then we've reinforced this thing she stayed home and yesterday we finished her new home her pasture out there we got the fencing done on it hopefully it's solid enough hopefully she thinks this is home now we're gonna take her out there we're gonna walk her over to her new pen and uh, hopefully she'll stay in she'll have fresh grass that way I used to live in the country on a high lonesome hill Crow by day and by night the whip her will But I'm satisfied, tickled too Just to be with you We've had our cow for close to two weeks now and we had to leave her locked up for a while because she had just been weaned from calves and going to a new place she is going to try to escape and go back home. Um, but I think we're getting out of the danger zone of that and we're needing to get her on fresh pasture so she's not eating hay and costing us money and it'd just be better for her. Um, so we're having to finish our fencing project. Uh, right now we're setting up the entry gate where we'll go in and out and bring her in and out. It'll. This was a dog kennel thing that we came up with somewhere and uh, just opens like that. So we'll put a T post at each corner. Hopefully that'll be good enough uh, stability on this. I'd say are in there too, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe if we need to. So far we've got uh, fence panels set up all the way along the east side of what her pasture is going to be. We already had fencing in place all along the south side in the woods over there. We actually just need to run this north side all the way over and we're going to run it down into the lake. And then on the northwest corner of her pasture, we just have to finish a little corner to the lake. And then she'll have quite a large pasture here. And I think some pretty decent pasture in it. Good fescue. Well, I promise that I won't be gone too long. I'll be thinking about you every minute that We've been homesteading this place for about 26 years now and in that time we've done a lot of different stuff. 
including raising hogs and we had a lot of hog panels uh, we've used them for cattle fencing as well before um, so that's what we're using for her fencing she's not a big cow she's really pretty calm and tame so I'm hopeful that it will be sufficient for her uh, if you had more wild cows this probably wouldn't work you'd need a little better fence but hopefully with her we're good Janet and I a couple of days ago loaded up about 35 or so of these hog panels to build our fence around with and so today hopefully we're going to get our cow pasture finished up and so I got to move the tractor up a little bit now because they caught up with me I got to scatter out the well, I promise panel. that I won't be gone too long I'll be thinking about you David, what's your job out here, Ben? Just to cut wires and hold tie the fences and stuff. So, um, do you mind helping out to, in order to have a cow? I'm glad to help out because we now get a lot of milk. So. Since we're staying at home, I'm really glad to have all the milk we can drink. My job is to bring everyone water. I'm really glad to be able to have all the milk I, I drink every day. We finished the part of the fence over there. We've driven down here by mom and dad's house. And we've only got, I would guesstimate, three or four panels to set up to connect this corner to the lake. Um, so we'll see what we need. And then I think the fencing will be done. Hopefully it holds her. Well, I'm satisfied. Tickled to Just to be with you. Green grass. Haven't had any green grass for two weeks. Yeah. It's been eating dry old hay. Well, that's right. They didn't, in their field, they didn't have much green grass either because it was coming out of winter. But <laughs> she's got some now. She knows what to do with it. So we named her Cora, which is short for coronavirus, because that's when she's come to us during this time. She is going to town on that grass.
put her next. It's fine. Okay. I don't want to. to help milk. They're pointing fingers at each other. <laughs> so we've been feeding her some uh, grain every day, some ground corn, oats, and alfalfa meal. And then we've also been feeding her some hay, uh, some of which was baled on our place last year and some of which we, we bought. Um, but she's very happy to have green grass, obviously. She's been missing this and that clover. They love clover. We've been getting around two gallons of milk a day. Uh, we're curious to see now that she's out on good pasture um, if that'll increase. I, I kind of bet it will and I'm curious to see if the flavor changes at all because to this point it's been really good flavor. Jan and I have been milking the old girl twice a day and we thought we'd build a little shed out here, but we like the shed that's already built. So we're going to see how it works out to walk her back to that building to milk her at night, and leave her in and milk her in the morning and walk her back here. It'd be a lot cheaper and a lot easier just to use that building if we can. But well, we just wanted to take a few minutes and show you the new addition to our homestead. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and uh, leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do that. Thanks for watching. Welcome to your new home, Aurora.